What's up, this is Todd Smith. I'm back with another video. I was lucky enough to score some retro gaming swag in the last couple of days, and I kind of wanted to share what I got to you. This is my first step into the retro gaming world. Here we go. The Super Nintendo is in great condition. As you can see, it the coloring is still really good. It has that original color going. A lot of them turn almost like a smoker's yellow. Um, I'm not sure why that happens, if it's sunlight or whatever, but this one luckily didn't have any of that on the top or the bottom. It has some really nice uh, coloring to it, so I don't even really need to paint this thing. At this great. stage of the game, unless you had a Super Nintendo that was worked on, you're probably going to have some sort of errors or bugs when you get a Super Nintendo second hand. Whether it needs to just be cleaned or it needs to actually have some soldering done, that's kind of the really, really big question. This unit has some errors. Games will work for a while and then kind of lock up and crash. I'm hoping that it's just the cleaning aspect. You need a certain tool to get in there and clean. And I have that ordered and we'll know in a couple weeks. And I will do a video on that when I open this up, clean it, and test it. It came with one controller, power supply. It actually came with the non, it came with the RF adapter. It didn't come with the multi out, which I'm gonna probably try to track down a multi out. But every other aspect came besides the two controllers, only one came with it. And overall, the spring action works great. The power button holds, the reset button hits well. I'm really happy with the results. And I'm hoping all this really needs is a decent cleaning and it'll be 100% in case cleaning isn't enough, I actually bought this soldering kit so I can go in here and start making some repairs on these units if I need to in the future. We're going to see how that goes. I am not really a super experienced soldering person. I might be learning a lot of this live on DLive and you guys will see my mistakes. It'll be pretty interesting, so hopefully I don't have to bust this out for a bit and I just need to clean, but time will tell. Well, that was my first score ever into the vintage gaming experience and once I pick up some more games maybe show you the games I was able to pick up and some of the more valuable games I've been able to pick up. Always I need to thank the blockchain for all the support they have changed my life it enabling me to chase my dreams share my passions with the world. Um, as always stay positive stay creative stay kind to each other. Peace.